Would you consider yourself a smart attacker? Well, no matter if you are one or not, there are always are margins to further improve your skill set. And as a modern attacker, you definitely have a lot of things to work on, with one of the most important ones being your tactical knowledge and behavior. That's why in today's video, I'm gonna focus on a series of attacking principles that can really make your job easier. And no, I am not just talking about goal scoring, but assisting and creating opportunities in the final third as well. So make sure you stick until the end and really absorb the information. Now, if you want to take this a step further and you are really serious about your game, grab a piece of paper or even better, dedicate an entire notebook and start taking notes. Now, without further ado, let's get right into the video, starting with principle number one, attacking with. Before you skip ahead thinking you know everything about this principle, let me explain. When attacking, I just want you to reverse engineer the process and get into the shoes of the defenders. So ask yourself, what is the main goal of a defender? To protect his goal and keep a clean sheet. Now the first and most efficient way to do that is to keep you out of the red zone which is near and inside the box. That's a high risk area and if the ball manages to reach an attacker's feet, the chances of a goal drastically increase. So it's normal for most defenses to stay narrow and overcrowd their defense in and around the central part of the field in an attempt to protect their goal. Having this in mind, it makes no sense to make that area even more crowded by keeping yourself and your teammates in there. That's just an unorthodox attacking style that will lead to many losses of possession and failed goal scoring attempts. Instead, try to stretch the field and take advantage of the width you have available as a team. This will give you and your teammates far more open space to attack and create goal scoring chances. On top of that, you will have more time and less intense pressure by your opponents. This in turn will help you create far more effective chances with less pressure on your mind. So stop eliminating the space you have available and take advantage of it. Okay? Principle number two, stop delaying the attack, especially counterattacks. Just like in the first principle, I want you to reverse engineer your job once again. The goal of every defender is to slow down your attack. Why? Number one, because defenses want time to recover as many defenders as possible to regain defensive shape and structure. And number two, to drop down the intensity of their efforts so they can take better defensive decisions. Your goal as an attacker is to counteract that by acting fast and trying to finish the play as fast as you can. Counterattacks are the perfect example. Try delaying the finish more than 4 to 6 seconds, and the opposition will recover its defenders and gain defensive structure and organization to really diminish the chances you had to score. I'm not saying you should be sloppy, but decisive and fast. Do not gift defenders with your time. Catch them off balance and finish them off. Now, the next tip isn't really a principle but more so a suggestion and reminder that there are a dozen of ways you can create space either for yourself or for your teammates. So stop letting inaction take over your game and start creating micro habits that are related to your tactical behavior on the pitch. For example, we did a video last week on four basic attacking moves you can pull off the ball that if used consistently can make you a really effective player and get you into better positions to score and assist. Curved runs, overlapping and underlapping runs, as well as the reversed runs are fundamental off the ball moves that I believe every attacker should master and use. So go ahead and watch the video. And since we were talking about taking advantage of space, I also wanted to speak about overloads. Now for all of you that don't know what an overload is, it basically is an intentional penetration of a specific zone or area of the field with the number of attackers outmatching the number of defenders in that specific zone or area. So what's the purpose of an overload? Well, more players equal more options to maintain possession of the ball, but most importantly to attack, exploit the defense and create a goal scoring chance. A common area of the field where overloads are being used are the flanks. That's another reason why attacking width is so important. Take advantage of the full width and make off the ball runs to overload a specific zone or area. If you feel like one zone is getting overcrowded, seek another option to switch the play and create an overload on your opponent's weak side. Once again, I would highly suggest you watch our last week's video on off the ball runs you can utilize to create overloads, especially on the wings. Now the last attacking tip I would like to share with you has to do with penetration and creation. As I've said, defenders love winning time for themselves and they are absolute control freaks. They want to know everything that is happening around them. Your job is to counteract that and attack them at their weak spots. Find ways to constantly penetrate them and keep the intensity high. They will get confused and, will, and they will doubt their own thoughts and decisions. If you have the ball at your feet, don't just stand there doing nothing. Take action, dribble towards them, penetrate their mind and cooperate with your teammates to create deadly chances. 
I'm not saying you should bump against them and lose possession, but instead, play with your minds, confuse them, deceive them with your actions and give them wrong signals. Defenders simply can't stand this and have a difficult time dealing with attackers that don't give them time and keep the intensity high. So there you have it guys, another weakness you can exploit. That's why you often hear me talk about the art of reverse engineering. Get in the shoes of the defender, understand what their positional weak spots are and exploit them. It's not that complicated. Don't just use your strengths but become intentional with every action you take. Small details can have a huge impact. Remember that. Now, if you would like us to analyze your performance or have a one-on-one -on -one talk about tactics, all you have to do is click the link in the description to apply for our game analysis services, and we will get back to you with further details. Until the next time, guys, have a good one.